Hi guys, assalamualaikum and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're in Turkey, we're in the city of Antalya, so come along with us. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. My name's Halima and I create content on beauty, lifestyle and vlogging, and that is travel vlogging. Um, right, without further ado, let's travel around. So our first stop was the Yivli Minaret Mosque, also known as the Fluted Minaret Mosque and also known as Aladdin Mosque or simply the Grand Mosque in Antalya. It's an historical mosque built by the Anatolian Seljuk Sultan Kaykobat I. It's part of the complex of structures which includes the Gaisen Kusurve Madrasa, Seljuk and Dervish Lodge and its vaults of Nigar Hatun. The mosque is located in the old centre of Antalya along Chumhertig Hadidese next to Kalikapati Maidani. The mosque's fluted minaret, called the Yibli Minaret, which is decorated with dark blue tiles, is a landmark and symbol of the city. In 2016, it was inscribed in the tentative list of the World Heritage Sites in Turkey. The mosque was built in 1230 AD and fully reconstructed for the second time in 1373. The minaret is 38 metres high and, and freestanding, built on a square stone base with eight fluted sections and has 90 steps to the top. The first building was built around 1225 to 27 during the reign of the Sel Seljuk Sultan Aladdin Kaykobat. The original mosque was destroyed in the 14th century and a new mosque was built in 1373 by the Hamayids on the foundation of a Byzantine church with its six domes. It is one of the oldest examples of a multi-construction in Antalya. Today the building houses the Antalyan Ethnographic Museum and contains clothing, kitchen utensils, embroidery, tapestry and looms, sock sacks, ornaments and nomadic tents. It is open to the public in 1974. And oh my god, it was a feast for the eye. I'm visioning so much issue to it.
we then started exploring the streets and we did a bit of shopping as you know when you're in Turkey you want to get yourself a bit of fake wood so we bought something for one of each of my family members and then we carried on walking down the dwindling streets As we carried on walking down the dwindling streets, we came across the Hydric Tower, which is a landmark tower of thorny stone in Antalya, which means the Kalise meets Karugoge Park. It is believed that the Roman Empire built this in the second century see, on a square plain. In the same century, it was turned into a circular tower under the Byzantines. It was used as a military outpost. It has since been used as a fortification or a lighthouse. The tower is situated at the southern side of the pal palace, where the land walls of the city join the sea walls. The 14 metre high structure consists of a circular tower rising on a quadratic pedestal. The tower's gates on the, at the eastern side lead to the small room, from where a narrow staircase goes up. These are signs of restoration work on the upper part done in the Seljuk and the Ottoman eras. In the centre, its current name, Hidrik, li literally meaning a place of Kidder, means a place where where the Hidrelis festival takes place. Hidrelis is a spring festival that happens in Turkey. Yeah, you can see the two Turkish flags as well, that famous Titanic hotel of um, Antalya is. As we carried on walking, we came across another mosque, which is the Tekeli Memon Pasha Mosque. It's a domed mosque from the 1600s, named after a powerful 16th century Grand Vizier of the Ottoman Empire. So, right in front of the mosque, you have the Antalya Sat Kulise, which is obviously being renovated, so you can't see it. Which is right there and here. As you carry on walking, we came across the Antalya's Republic Square, also known as Antalya Jumarit Meydane in Turkish. It's a bustling place in the city centre of Antalya, a beautiful city in the southern Turkey. The square blends Antalya's rich history and modern spirit, featuring a prominent mon monument commemorating Turkey's founding father, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Have a sacristy, you've got the bazaar, the old bazaar, and you've got a mosque right there in the corner. And lastly, we get to see Hadrian's Gate, 
It's a memorial gate located in Antalya, which was built in the name of a Roman Emperor Hadrian who visited the city in 130 CE. It was later incorporated in the walls and that surrounded in har- the harbour and the city, of which is the only remaining entrance gate today. Right guys, that now brings me to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you have. Make sure to subscribe because it'll really mean a lot to me and it'll help me out a lot. And also, make sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram and Twitter for regular updates. And I'll see you in the next video guys. Take care. Bye bye.